Hi guys and welcome back. In today's video, we're going to take this inner tube that was patched and put it back into that lawn tractor tire. Now before we get started, I mentioned in an earlier video, all this brown stuff here is from Fix a Flat that I put into this uh, tire a few years back. Couldn't get it all off. It may cause a little bit of a problem when I go to put the tube into the tire. So what I'm going to do is sprinkle some talcum powder on it just to help the tube slide somewhat in the inside of the uh, tire. Now, to get this going, we have to remove this Schrader valve to let all the air out of the tube. On some tubes, there'll be a line and it'll let you know which way the tube should go into the tire. Right now, I have the hole for the rim on the other side of this tire. So, this tube's going to go in this way with the stem facing that direction. And I have it, and the reason I have it inflated was for, was twofold. One, make sure it wasn't leaking, and two, to see which way this uh, valve stem is facing. So now to get started, I'm gonna remove the Schrader valve, let the air out, and I'll be back in a minute. All right guys, I'm back. I have the air out of the tube, and I spread some of this talcum powder all around to help this tube slide around. And the direction of the stem is facing down, and that's where the, um, the hole on the rim is for the stem to come out. And I have the valve stem in this container so I don't lose it. This takes a little doing. It's easier to do on the floor than it is on the workbench. On the floor, when you put in this tire back on the rim, you have a little bit more leverage than you do on the bench. Now this tube is stretched out because it's been used. When they come out of the box, they're a little tighter. And it looks like I have it twisted somewhat here. My ideas to get it around. And I didn't mention earlier, you want to check the rim to make sure it doesn't have any sharp edges from when you took the tire off using your pry bars. Something really small could go right through that tube or wear through the tube and just give you another hole. I didn't get enough air out of that tube. Just a little bit more air in there. There we go. Now the tube is in. And now you want to get the valve stem in that valve stem hole. If you have the valve tube that you can screw on, be good to put it on, or even a, a hub cap be good to keep this from sliding back in. Now the next part is to get this tire on without pinching the tube. And if you see the way I have this, the tube fell down to the other side. We have our soapy water. This will help the tools to slide along, the tire to slide in, and it also helps the tire to seal. We have our bar, a spoon, whatever you happen to be using. And we just start with small bites. I'm going to hold this tube down. That's why it's easier on the floor. It's not in the camera. Let's see. You want to hold this down. Put your knee on it, it helps. And just start taking small bites to get this over the rim. And again, make sure that that tube isn't around. Otherwise, you'll be doing this over again. I have this on a little platform to, to raise it up a little bit for the sake of the uh, camera. But being this tire, so but being this tire doesn't have any flex to it, I might have to put this on the ground. 
Now, I usually don't do this. I usually don't have a need for it. But with this tire, I'm going to put these vice grips on the rim to uh, keep it from traveling a lot. Okay. That tube is down in there. Now a new tire won't be giving you this much trouble because it flexes. This tire being 20 years old is in this cooperative. Alright guys, I'm back. The tube is in, the tie is holding. What I didn't show you before I went off camera was we had to put that Schrader valve back in to get the air back into the tire. And again, what's important, when you're filling this tire with air, you want to make sure that the tube isn't sticking out on any one of the edges, the side you work on on the other side. Now this patch is holding the air. I don't know how long it's going to hold. I don't know how long this tie is going to last. The cracks are significant. But we'll see whether that patch kit works or not. Now, again, the, the tools that you'll need are some kind of stem remover. And a lot of the hubcaps have it at the end and you can just screw it right out, it's no problem. You'll need a, a tire iron or preferably a tire spoon. These work great. The sh the, they're shaped right to get the tires out. This is for a larger tire, but it works well on this. A couple extra uh, pry bars, some soapy water. I never used the powder before, but because that uh, tire had all that debris on it from the fixer flat, I put it on there so it could slide around. And a little tip that I picked up was that after after you fill it with air, to take that Schrader valve out, let the air out and fill it again, it lets the tube in there relax and fill up. I don't know whether um, that's necessary, I never did it before, but I did it this time. I'm going to get this tire back onto the tractor, see if it holds, and that's a wrap. If you found this video useful or entertaining, let me know by posting your comments down below, giving me a like, and if you haven't done so already, subscribe. It's free, and I'm looking forward to it. So until next time, stay safe.